Hey there. Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Met Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So, this is part two of the topic of graphs. Now, with that said, let's dive into the objectives. For this particular video, we are going to be looking at drawing straight line graphs using the table method as well as the x and y intercept method. Okay? Now that we are done with the objectives, let's take a look at the lesson. So get your pens and your notebooks ready. Okay. So here we are told, draw the graph of y equals to 2x plus 3. And then we are given a condition for where x is equal to or between uh, negative 4 and 1. So what do you do? You create a table. Okay, let's start with the table method first. So when you create a table, you want to create it with two rows. One row for the x-axis and then the second row. For the y-axis okay now how do we find these figures of the x-axis you look at your condition over here you are given a condition that x is equal to or in between negative 4 and 1 so basically you just number them the same way you they are numbered on the number line we know that from 1 if you move to the left you find the 0 and then negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 okay so, because there is a condition, we can just end there. Good. Now that we have our x values, how do we find our y values? Now, to find the y values, you are already told that the graph of y equals to 2x plus 3, meaning y is equals to 2x plus 3. So, what do you do? For you to find your y, you take this 2x plus 3, on the right hand side of the equation and then you just substitute your x values inside the x okay what do i mean let me show you what i mean you see for the first column over here our x value is negative 4 so if we take 2x plus 3 and we substitute the x with negative 4 what answer do we get so here it is 2 and then here was an x but we substituted that x with negative 4, okay, plus 3. So type it into your calculator, you get negative 5. And that negative 5 is your y value. So you repeat this process. You go to the next, and then you have negative 3 as your x value. So again, you take 2x plus 3, but substitute negative 3 as your x value. Just like this. So if you type it into your calculator, 2 multiplied by negative 3 plus 3. It will give you negative 3. So that negative 3 is your y value. Again, you move on to the next row. What is your x value here? It's negative 2. So you plug that negative 2 as your x value in the equation here. So let's do just that. So 2 multiplied by where the x was, but now we substituted the x with what? Negative 2 plus 3. If you type it into your calculator, what answer do you get? Negative 1. So you plug that negative 1 into the table. So now I want you to pause the video and complete this table, okay? So there are still three values that are missing, so I want you to fill them in. So pause the video now. Okay, so the three remaining values are 1, 3, and 5. So if you got them correct, give yourself a pat on the shoulder. Okay, so if you didn't get them correct, just again, repeat this process. You take the 2x plus 3, but for the first one, where there is an x, you plug in negative 1. Okay, then where for the... Second one here, you 
basically just repeat this process here okay so what do we do now that we have our x and y values basically we plot them on our grid now if you watched the previous video you know how to plot okay if you didn't watch it and you don't know how to plot i recommend you watch the previous video which is part one of graphs the link will be down below in the description okay so let's plot so let's start in this column for the x value we have negative 4 so when you go to your grid over here you go on the x axis and look for negative 4 so where is negative 4 negative 4 negative 4 negative 4 negative 4 is over here so you draw a line there at negative 4 okay now what do you have for your y value you have negative 5 so when you go on the y axis you are looking for negative 5 negative 5 negative 5 negative 5 is over here so you draw a long line through that negative 5 now mind you check where does the blue lines cross they cross over here so that's where you are going to plot your point okay so let's clean up and then you go to the second one what do you have on the x-axis you have negative 3 so you go on the x-axis looking for negative 3 negative 3 negative 3 it's over here so you draw your line and then you check what do you have on your y-axis you also have a negative 3 so you go on your y-axis here and then you look for negative 3 which is over here you also draw your line through that negative 3 now where do the two blue lines cross or intersect they intersect here so that's where you plot your second point okay now i want you to pause the video and then just do a rough drawing on your piece of paper and see if you can plot the remaining points okay so pause the video now take out a piece of paper or in your notebook and just like do a rough drawing okay of these remaining points so pause the video now okay so the remaining points are so that's where they are supposed to be plotted now after you are done plotting you can tell this is a straight line graph so you take out your ruler and you draw a line and you are simply done with the first method okay so we are done with how to draw a straight line graph using the table method okay now before we check how to use the x and y intercept method how are you finding this video so far is it helpful if yes do give us a huge thumbs up and support the channel by subscribing okay and if you need some extra help do not hesitate to whatsapp us on our whatsapp number with a topic of struggle back to the lesson now here we are told use the x and y intercept method to draw the line of y equals to 2x plus 4 so how do we do this now there's two questions you need to ask yourself to be able to draw this type of um, graph or line okay so the first question is where does the line or the straight line meet the x-axis now to find out you will need to make y equals to zero okay now which y equals to zero are we talking about i'm talking about in this equation since we have y equals to 2x plus 4 we will make this y zero okay so let's do just that so here we've made this y zero now from here you just solve the linear equation because from here it's a simple linear equation so let's solve the linear equation if you don't know how to solve linear equations i'll drop another link down below in the description to show you how to solve linear equations okay so here we know that uh, 0 and 4 are like terms so we take the 4 on the other side which will become negative 4 and then we are left with 2x on the right hand side 
we divide both sides by 2, which will cancel out on the right. And we are left with x on the right and then negative 4 divided by 2 will give you negative 2. And then that's your final answer for x. Meaning, now this final answer is also your answer to the question here. To say where does the line meet the x-axis? The straight line will meet the x-axis at negative 2. Okay? Now let's look at the second question that you will need to answer for you to be able to draw this line. The second question is, where does this straight line or line meet the y-axis? To do this, you will need to make x equals to 0 in this same equation. So let's just take that same equation and bring it down here. And then where we see an x, we make it 0. So the x is here. Always remember to put it into brackets. Okay? If it's in between other terms. Now, we know for sure that this is a simple linear equation, but then 2 multiplied, two multiplied by 0 will obviously be 0. So we'll be left with y on the left, and then only the positive 4 will be left on the right. So y equals 2, positive 4. Meaning, our line will meet the x or the y axis at positive 4. Now if we have this information, let's check on our grid here. Since we know that our line will meet the x axis at uh, negative 2, we go on the x axis. And we ask ourselves, where is negative 2? Look for negative 2. It's here. And then you plot that point. And then you look for your y value. Since you know that your y value is already positive 4, just go on the y-axis, look for that positive 4. It's over here. So you plot that. And then you simply draw a line. And we are done. That was simple, isn't it? So thank you very much for watching this video, please do like, subscribe, turn on that notification button not to be the last to see the next video, share with friends, family and classmates and remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind, cheers.